So all three of us, me, my brother, my uncle, we actually like to create stuff. My brother's the chef and I'm the brewmaster. So he's the F and I'm the B. My name is EK. I'm the co-founder and the brewmaster of the 1925 Brewing Company. Hi, my name is Ivan Yo. I'm the executive chef of Blue Smoke. So Blue Smoke is essentially a um, Asian grill and smoke house. So here we basically use the techniques of grilling and smoking to bring out the flavors of different parts of Asia. These foods are designed to kind of complement and bring out and accentuate the flavors of the craft beers that my brother brews at the 925 Brewing Company or vice versa. It was founded by me, my brother, my and my uncle. So the three of us, the common denominator is actually my grandfather. And my grandfather was born in the year 1925. When we started out 925, I was actually straddling between um, both 925 and my job as an auditor. It came to a point where I had to make the hard decision to choose one and naturally, of course, I chose 925. What we like to do is we aim to feature a lot of Asian ingredients. It's not just about the ingredients but also about the taste profile that fits our cuisine, our environment and also tell stories about who we are. Oh yes, 1925 Brewing Company and Blue Smoke itself is inspired entirely out of my memories and, and the history of my family. So the bottles, down to the labels, down to the ideas that comes out from it, it's mostly stuff that we have actually experienced while we were children. So all these stories that work together, they come into this giant melting pot of inspirations, right? So I don't think 1925 Brewing Company or Blue Smoke can be what it is today without the family. To date, in our nine years of existence, uh, nine years of brewing, we have already created, I think, a couple of hundreds of styles and types of beers using all sorts of ingredients. Nothing really limits us. So this is the first time ever that we are doing a beer for a development project. First thing I wanted to, uh, the beer to, to fulfill was actually it has to be a little bit uh, modern, he has to be uh, sophisticated, but not to the point where it uh, takes away um, the true nature of what the product is supposed to be like. So for this particular collaboration, what we did was really dive deep into Tanjong Paga's history. And one thing we found out was Tanjong Paga was actually a place where there was a lot of fruit plantations. So we decided to draw inspiration from that and create a very fruity beer. I think one of them is uh, the mango pale ale. Then the other one that we had created was a very, very fruity IPA. The fruitiness and all those flavours would be the past and these layers and layers of flavours and, and the hoppiness and the dryness, the crispness, that's actually representation of the future because that is really the trend going forward. I think everybody always has those different layers as whether or not they had the ability to freely express it. I have only three passions in my life, art, music and cooking. In my own time, music is a large part of it. Art, be it photography, be it videography, or even just sitting down to draw some stuff that kind of express the stuff that I have in my head, that is important to me. In all honest opinion, I never thought I was special. Everybody else that I've spoken to, the only difference was that they are a little bit more fearful of trying to bring out all these passions and, and trying to make it a thing. They couldn't care less about what people think. I couldn't care less about whether I was allowed to do so or not. People now have the time and ability to seize their, their dreams, right? Seize the day. And that is, I think, is a, a beautiful thing to do.